So we're, we're testing uh, BF5 up to 120 degrees. And the reason that we're doing this is because uh, the U.S. military, as well as a lot of our partner uh, nations, intend to use their aircraft in temperatures uh, up to 120 degrees. So the, the process to get ready for testing is uh, they have a, an array of solar lamps uh, positioned above the aircraft. And then they also use their systems in the lab to set the ambient temperature to be uh, whatever we need it to be, either 103 or 120 degrees. At the beginning of testing, uh, we simulate essentially a day's worth of uh, solar exposure to the aircraft and then uh, send a, a pilot out to the airplane and we'll go through a normal startup and then simulate both conventional ops as well as stovel ops. In mode one, we go uh, all the way up to 150% uh, full afterburner. And then uh, while we're in mode four, we go through uh, all the way up to a, a simulated uh, vertical takeoff uh, at 100%. The main thing that we're looking at uh, during the hot testing is how the, the electronics or avionics respond to being exposed to such uh, high temperatures. We didn't really see any major uh, issues during uh, hot testing, uh, which was good. And actually the uh, thermal management system on the aircraft uh, performed better than expected. My, my favorite part was uh, just seeing uh, the setup in the lab with the solar lamps and uh, being able to go in and experience that extreme temperature and then uh, sitting in the control room and uh, walk, walking the pilots through uh, all of our testing was just a very interesting and rewarding experience.